Are you new to VR and or the Oculus Quest game Gorilla Tag? Well, I have the solution to all your problems in a short five minute video. Very convenient. Sponsors, this is the part of the video where you would show up. All I require as payment for my experience is some assistance with copycats eating me alive, which you could help with by subscribing and helping me reach my goal. But before we get started with how to do everything, we're gonna need to go back to when I was just beginning. Now, when I was first starting off, I wanted no more than to be able to outpace my enemies. So step one, always keep your hands parallel to the floor. This will prevent you from shooting up and being slower. Just practice running around these grassy areas and try not to get that much height. Ultimately, the closer you can stay to the ground, the faster you'll go. Wall jumping. Wall jumping is pretty simple. You want to jump and put your hand on the wall, and then once it's there, you're going to want to push off the opposite direction. Make sure you're pushing off at an angle so you go up. Now, your hand sticks to the wall for a second, so as long as you're pushing away from it, you can stick to it. This is going to be super important in the future when we do wall climbing, so wall climbing is best practiced over in this corner because of how steep this angle is. Now, some people will say you're going to want to crisscross up here like that, which I mean, technically, you are supposed to do that, but what I have found is the best way to teach people is to put their hands like this on the wall. Wall. That way they can pull themselves and then they can make it to the corner. You're just going to want to continue doing this with both hands, making sure your hand is parallel with the wall. This will make you slowly, slowly, slowly go up. Pinch climbing is pretty simple. Remember how I told you earlier that your hand will stick to the wall? Now, if you put two hands on the wall and you pinch it, you'll just stay here and you'll be able to manipulate yourself around the environment. But what you want to do is you want to pull up like this and right before you get to your max, you want to let go like this. Ever so slightly, you'll inch your way up, and eventually you'll get better at it. Wall running is really, really hard to learn, but once you learn it, you'll be a pro at it. What you want to do is you just want to move your arm up and down like this so that you go up the wall. The best way I've seen this explained is that you want to pull yourself not 100% up, because this will just keep you like this, but you don't want to pull yourself 100% with the wall either, because you'll slip down. You want to kind of find the middle between going straight up and going on the surface. This will make me go up and not have any issues at all. Bear climbing. Bear climbing is exactly the same thing as wall running, but you're going to want to do it on a flat surface surface with two hands like this. It's just wall running with two hands. Slippery wall running. Slippery wall running is interesting because how it works and how good it works depends on what refresh rate you play on. So if you play on 60, you're going to be able to go right across this. But if you play on 120 like me, you're going to have some issues. Watch how I slip off pretty much immediately. That's because my hand doesn't grip to the wall as good as somebody with 60 hertz. But the second I go lower, not only can I go up the wall easier, I can stay on slippery longer too. Make your way up to the wall and then just do the same thing as wall running, but try to go fast or horizontally and try Try to push harder vertically. Now, surfing. Surfing is interesting because it's going to be something that you just kind of get the hang of. The simplest way to surf is to just keep your hand on the wall. Maybe keep it at a slight angle, but once again, it's pretty hard to predict. It's not the same for everybody. Most of the ice mechanics are just something you're going to have to get used to. Scaling is an interesting mechanic because all of the trees are technically the same. They're just rotated at different angles and scaled. Now, the act of scaling is just finding the fastest and best way to get up the tree. Now, there are no particular tips I can give you considering every tree has branches in the way, every Every tree has different sizes, so you're really just gonna have to practice this. Now branching. The best way I can explain to you how to branch well is to start practicing little routes. Now I used to say that routes were counterintuitive because it wouldn't help you actually branch, it would just teach you a certain way to get somewhere, but once you start learning more, you can start piecing them together in your head and learning that different spots and different branches go to different places. Now I do have a little challenge for you next time you go in game. If you find yourself running up this ramp, try to jump onto this little branch right here and launch yourself onto this branch. From here, you can then jump onto this platform, watch your head on this branch, and then make it to the tree stump. Not a lot of people know how to do that, and I can pretty much catch somebody off guard with this every single time. Elevator climbing. Elevator climbing is just wall running, but kind of in reverse. Move your arm like this in a circle. Now on these inner circle parts, this is where it's gonna be touching the wall, and this downwards motion is going to push you up. You can change the angle of the circle to go left or right, but ultimately it's just like a wheel on the road. Wait, okay, the branch swing, the tumus juke, the rag spin, the hospital flip are all the same thing. The best place to practice it is this little branch right here by the tree stump entrance. Assuming you're doing it right-handed, if you're left-handed, I'm with you, just do the inverse. Keep your second hand against this and on the opposite side of the branch and pull your way through. From here, you can launch either this way or you can attempt to launch onto this branch. Either way, it's something you're going to have to get good at and it's something you can do without even looking in the future. If I forgot anything, tell me. I read all the comments.